the only Bundeswehr service dog training center in Ulmen near Koblenz. This is where dogs are trained to become military working dogs. They sniff out explosives, drugs, and now coronavirus too. Dog handler Miguel Acosta trains here every day with his military working dog. This is Donny. He's a three and a half year old Belgian Shepherd. He's one of our own breeds. His full name is Donny from the Bundeswehr. I got him when he was 12 months old. He then trained as a military working dog for the German Air Force. That took about 11 months. While there, he was trained in explosive detection and protection. Over the last few months, Donny has extended his skills. As well as TNT or PETN, the Belgian Shepherd is now able to sniff out the coronavirus infection inside a specifically developed device. What you see here is a training machine. It has a special name. We call it a scent training system. It is fully automated and teaches the dog to locate the right scent. It has seven holes. There are two options behind each hole, but only one is placed directly under the dog's nose at any given time. It contains the saliva of either an infected person or an uninfected person. I'm able to control the machine through the tablet. I can activate up to four holes. I can set how many times the dog should repeat the exercise. I can set it up to five or up to 40 times. When I press start, the holes slide open. This one, for example, is number five, which contains the active substance. So when the dog sticks its muzzle in here, that's correct. The corona substance is in there. This triggers the device and the food comes out. A lot of people think the dog detects the virus. That's not what happens. It doesn't detect the virus. What actually happens is that the metabolic process changes, that is, cells' metabolism changes. When someone is infected with the SARS-CoV-2 virus, the cells undergo metabolic changes and volatile substances are emitted. The dog can smell these volatile substances. They're very specific to the virus, which is how the dog knows, aha, this person is infected. The Hanover University of Veterinary Medicine is closely involved in the project. The virus is rendered inactive there so as not to place humans and animals in unnecessary danger. The current testing procedure showed that the military working dogs are able to detect a coronavirus infection quickly and accurately. To be fair, I should add that none of our dogs were dummies, so to speak. In fact, with the exception of one young dog, they'd all had preparatory sniffer dog training. This meant they could rely on previous knowledge a little, and if you include the introductory training on the machine, which lasted two weeks, and the actual training, which lasted just seven working days, if you add that up, then that makes three weeks. We didn't foresee such a high success rate. We had a 94% success rate. That's really high, and even we were surprised by how good that is. It's not yet clear whether or when the dogs will be deployed in real-life scenarios. Generally, these four-legged friends have around five years of military service under their belts. For their handlers, working and living with a dog involves radical changes. It's not just a job, it's a calling. I have to plan my free time around him. I have to plan my holidays. I can't just decide to go away for the weekend. You have to really want to do it wholeheartedly. This is a living creature. I have him with me 24-7. We're inseparable from morning to night. I have to be fair on him too. It's a huge responsibility. If my heart's not in it, then it's not fair on the animal.